If you are looking for a design software that will help you easily create and render your interior design and architecture ideas, then this video is for you. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Ayu. I am using AI Emma's voice from Clipchamp. If you're new here, I make videos to showcase design possibilities and tutorials in Planner 5D, a design app that we can use on all platforms, Windows, Mac, Android, or iOS. I'll paste the details in the description box below. For today's video, I am going to show you the new update about rendering photorealistic images in Planner 5D using the web version on my Windows 11 laptop. First, let's open a project. I'm going to use this chic boho apartment that I made months ago. I already redesigned this project so I can show you the process, but I still haven't finished editing the video. I am going to use this for now to show you guys the new rendering feature in Planner 5D which makes the software more efficient in project output completion. Switch to 3D and position the camera to the view that you want to render. Hover over the camera icon and select Realistic Render. Now let's go over the settings on the top of the page. Choose an aspect ratio for our render, 16 to 9, 4 to 3, and 1 to 1 format in landscape mode. You can also switch to portrait mode depending on what you will use your render for. Next, we can choose the quality of the photorealistic render. We have Draft, HD, Full HD, Quad HD, and 4K. Important reminder. If it is your first time rendering a specific project, render and draft quality first to test your lighting. Next, let's open the settings for our renders using this gear icon. Ceiling lighting. This will enable automatic ceiling lighting if you don't want to use any lighting fixtures. Auto light correction. This will prevent your output from having too bright or too dark lighting. Turning off floor. This feature is available once you choose a background, which is our next option. Background. We can now choose a background before we render a photorealistic image of our project. This is very helpful and makes the rendering process more efficient. Sunlight. In the previous rendering process, we had an option to turn on night mode rendering which disables the sunlight. However, that option is only applicable for the surroundings or outside. The sunlight never actually lights up a room especially when you already added lighting fixtures to the interior. That's why the interior renders in Planner 5D always look like in night mode. Now we have an option to change the sun position and sun altitude. I will insert a clip at the end part of this video to show you guys the new sunlight setting and how it affects the lighting in our output when rendering photorealistic images. Next that we have here is gallery. This will give us an option to see all the renders that we did for this specific project only. The next option is render, but we'll go back to it later. On this side, we have center. This will place the camera in the center of the project. This button right here allows us to zoom in and zoom out our view in the project, but we can only zoom in to a minimum distance. This is to adjust how low or how high you want the camera. Save view. This will help us save this specific view if we want to render it again later even after making changes to the project. I am not sure what is the maximum, but we can save multiple views. I already saved one view. Let me show you how it's done. Even after we go back to editor mode, we can still find these saved views when we enter the rendering mode. Isn't it great? Lastly, let's hit render. And this is the 4K render of our sleeping area view that we saved earlier. You can download, share, and archive. This kebab menu next to it gives you the option to move this specific render to a different folder, make an HD copy, or make a 4K copy if it's a lower quality render. This arrow is to navigate and view the renders that you already made for this project. These older renders that I'm showing right now are from the previous render feature of Planner 5D and 4K quality. I'm so excited to show you guys how I designed this project on my next video. Now let's go back to the sunlight setting. 
After many tries of adjusting the sun's position and altitude to see if it will actually incur any changes to our output, this is what we found out. These three snapshots have the same sun position and altitude. And as you can see, a big window or small window does not let sunlight pass through the glass. We tried using this door opening for marches, since it doesn't have a glass and as we can see, the sunlight is now visible. And then we tried to change the sun's position and altitude and this is what we got. It means that changes really apply to the renders as well. We have confirmed that sunlight does not pass through glass windows in Planner 5D because these two renders right here have different sunlight settings but the lighting is the same. So what happens if we try more and bigger windows? This is what it looks like. But our curiosity is not yet solved. We use the same sunlight setting using an opening instead of window and we got this result. Even though it has sunlight coming through, it is still not as well lit as this one. So that leads us to another question. Is it item specific? Let's try using the big window but resize it to make it smaller. With the same sunlight setting but different item used for window, this is what we ended up having. Lastly, night mode rendering or when we toggle off the sunlight setting. It would be a full black photo if we didn't put a lighting fixture. In conclusion, we can use open windows that doesn't have glass if we want our renders to have natural light coming in, and there are specific windows that could bring in more natural light in our interior. But we need to remember that the colors and materials that we use in our design can still affect the lighting in our spaces. There are a lot of cool new features and items in the catalog, but there are still small features that I miss from the old version in 2019. I hope that their next huge update will focus more on making the renders of daytime interiors better. As someone who makes content using this app, the feature that lets you save a view is what I like the most. How about you? Let me know in the comments below. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It'll help me continue producing content like this and so much more. I'll leave a link in the description box below for Planner 5D Pro. Have a nice week!